uh, while I don't believe, you know, that you know Ava has autism, there has been no evidence, no signs for us to to even think that. I want to admit that I have diagnosed her with just about everything else. Okay, yeah. <laughs> watching my real life vlogs welcome back welcome back today is another long one y'all said y'all wanted it so here it goes so before we get into everything you guys this segment of today's vlog is sponsored by better help we're gonna start off by addressing our mental health you guys know I'm a big big mental health person and I wasn't always this way you guys I was the biggest you know therapy skeptic I was absolutely one of those people who thought therapy was not for me let me tell y'all who I thought therapy was for I thought therapy was for people who were extremely sick or extremely rich right people with big problems with big money right and it wasn't until I was struggling with my own issues right that I realized that you know therapy was probably the best choice for me because I had tried everything else right and I was I wanted to see like what else there was and talk therapy ended up being a really really good solution for me because I'm one of those types of people that if I have a problem right the best way for me to get to the bottom of it is to tackle it like in bite-sized pieces and being able to talk through it with another person who is you know one level-headed right two has no stake in your issues right so they're going to be fully objective about what you're telling them and you're gonna have that privacy right sometimes we think we can talk to our friends about our problems but some stuff is not friend appropriate and you can't always be sure where that information is gonna go so the two biggest things for me with therapy has been to be able to identify you know unhealthy situations and once I did that I learned the tools to kind of cope and manage and heal as big of a skeptic as I was about therapy you guys you would not believe how much I support Support the idea for people to get in therapy I'm always encouraging my friends to give it a try but I know it needs to be easy for people right like even for me if I couldn't do it like on my phone or on my computer I probably wouldn't and that's why I want to encourage you guys to try out better help it is an online therapy service that you can pretty much participate in from anywhere right and like I tell so many people if you're feeling embarrassed or ashamed of the fact that you're in therapy you ain't even got to tell nobody you know this is a private thing that you can do just you sitting in front of your computer nobody has to know but it will absolutely have a positive impact on your life your relationships your decisions so if you guys have been thinking about it right shh, remember you ain't got to tell nobody okay check the description box because I do have a direct link that will save you guys 10% on your first month when you join BetterHelp go to betterhelp.com slash Miss Vaughn and the code will automatically be applied it's really easy to sign up and get started you go to the website and you fill out a quick questionnaire they're gonna ask you some questions about yourself how you've been feeling kind of what you want to get out of the experience and then they will match you with a therapist that fits your needs really quickly too in some cases like 48 hours so special thanks again to the folks at BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and make sure you guys check the description box so you can get started it's me and Ava girl hey guys hi dear sweet baby she just woke up from her nap and took a bath she had a bath right before her Naomi and hold this down a little bit yes indeed she just woke up and had a bottle and I gave her a bath before her nap. So she slept so, so good. And then look at her little ponytails. We had washed her hair and I just put it in some little loose little ponytails. Her hair is getting longer. Did you burp, sweet baby? Did you burp by me? <laughs> you burped. You think you burped. This is, this is her little song. I am so fat. Fat is what I am. Fat is what I am. Fat, 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 fat. I am so fat. Fat is what I am. Fat is what I am. Fat, 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 fat. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, it's just me and Ava up in this quiet house, chilling like villains. We're actually about to go for a walk. It's a really nice day today. It's not hot, but it is quite pleasant. Let me actually check the weather here. Let me see, what is the weather today? So it is 64 right now, which is not particularly warm, but if we put on couple layers it'll be fine it'll be good for me to get my circulation going and to get a couple steps in and that sort of thing I did not go to the gym today so I'm feeling kind of guilty the only reason I didn't go was because I thought Anthony had to leave out at 6 to go and serve a search warrant 
So I'm preparing for that and then he oversleeps. They reschedule it and then he leaves out hours later. I'm like, I could have went to the gym. Hmm. So usually when that happens, I'll just do like a YouTube workout or something, but I didn't do that today. Once I got up and got the day going, I started getting into stuff. I was giving Ava a bath and then I started, girl, working on this island project. Okay, I'm glad I mentioned it. Let's, let's actually get you guys caught up on that. So as you know, I mentioned in my last video that I was gonna be doing a project with the island in order to build out some more storage. Y'all, a lot of the build out is about aesthetics. It's about storage, but it's about aesthetics also. I really want some shelves right there so I can kind of decorate a little bit more. I want to love my kitchen more you know and I have the time and the kind of know-how you know to get stuff like this done so I'm like why don't I just do it so I'm filming that for y'all as a midweek video and I'll probably make it more of like a little mini series because it is quite involved so I am working on the content you know in order to, to make a midweek video but I just want to just fill y'all in on some of the woes uh going into this thing y'all like when I initially cooked up the project and had presented it to my dad I thought it was going to be like this simple build you know we would just just you know get some wood build out some shelving and then just like stain it right girl there's so much more that goes into staining than meets the eye and all wood is not created equal and therefore it does not accept the stain equally right across different wood types different species of wood should I say so girl it's just been kind of a small, I don't want to call it a disaster. It hasn't been a disaster. It's just been a learning process. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. You ready to go for a walk? You ready for your walk? She's ready to go for her walk. So yeah, I've been in the garage just like working on stuff and I'm just, you know, learning as I go and realizing that this job is not gonna be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually going to require a complete revamp of the island. But I'm already invested, y'all, emotionally. And so I must do it. The show must go on. I have to do this. So it's gonna require me to strip the entire uh, island. I'm gonna have to remove um, the trim on it. I'm gonna have to sand and I'm going to have to paint because I am going to have to paint the shelving you know, build out. So therefore the entire island has to be painted in order to match it. Trying to stain it with all the different wood types, it's not going to look the same. It's going to look a mess. It's going to look like a science project. It's going to look very amateur. So my dad was like, yep, you know, it's what's going to have to happen. So yeah, it's turning into a much larger project than I thought, but it's still going to be fun. And my dad is still going to be guiding me through it. But baby, way more work than I thought. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. But this will give me an opportunity to really add the detail that I always thought this island should have for it to be this size, right? So I'm gonna be adding some nice trim, I'm gonna be adding some molding, and then of course the shelving build out part, and then I'm going to be repainting all of the cabinets. It's going to look the same color, it's just going to be paint instead of stain. And I thought, you know, that's not gonna look that bad because the rest of the cabinets are painted, right? It was. The island was the only stained component in the kitchen, so it's not gonna look bad. Plus, I noticed a bunch of flaws on the cabinets uh, and drawers, right, on the island. Some stuff they got chipped and scraped and, you know, over the years because we were not really taking care of it. So that'll give me a chance to like go in and repair those flaws and make the island look even better, you know? So I'm I'm excited about it. I, it's a promising project. It's probably gonna take me um, a couple of weeks just because I'm not gonna be able to power through it and get it all done quickly because I gotta be a mommy and I got other things I need to be doing but I think if I pace myself well, I can get this thing done like within two weeks, maybe even like a week and a half. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't take me like extremely long. Let's go for a walk, mommy. Let's go for a walk. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I make up songs for this baby all day nonstop. Like that's all I do is sing to her. She just be in here having a ball. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, here's my island. <laughs> Looking at it totally differently these days, you know, with this project in pursuit, but it's a stained wood island. So this color here is some kind of wood stain, but the type of wood this is, I'm not sure, but my dad predicted that it's probably oak. So it took the stain a lot darker than the shelving unit, which I'll show you guys in a second. And these were some of the colors I was contemplating painting the island, just trying to find the one that's like the perfect brown, you know, kind of to complement the floor and then to replace what we have going on here. So I did grab a sample yesterday from Home Depot just to test it out, so I will be doing that. But do you see that trim that's on the floor down there? It's all scraped up anyway, so I'm like, you know, I might as well, you know, you know, focus on replacing some of this trim. You see the one here, 
Sansa chewed it. You know, she didn't do it on purpose. She was trying to eat something off the floor and she accidentally um, grabbed a hold to the trim. And then even if you look at the island, if you really pay attention, you'll notice like every panel is like a different shade of whatever stain this is because they use different wood. So this is a, a shade, this is a shade, and then this is its own shade. You see, so it's mixed matched anyway. So that's why I'm like, this project is like a long time coming anyway. You see, my standards for this kitchen have like gone up, so I have to make these changes, y'all. And so for this part right here, the reason I was thinking that this was gonna be such an easy project was because I had this really cool idea that I could just get this bookcase, it's already built bookcase, and connect it to the island under here, right? Um, do the necessary connections and just attach it in that way, I, you know, it's more sturdy. Even my dad said this, like it would be more sturdy that way. And it's a really heavy, hard wood. I think it's made of pine, which makes it difficult to stain, but it's very, very sturdy. And then we could just attach it under here. If I paint it, it's all gonna be the same. And let me show y'all the bookcase. Welcome to my garage workshop <laughs> right here. It's so heavy, y'all. Like it's a really good quality um, wood bookcase. As you can see, I had stained it because it was it came raw. So the wood was like completely light, like the color of the drop cloth pretty much and so I stained it last night and y'all staining is so easy I didn't realize how easy it was so it was great everything was great but it's not the right color and this is the darkest stain and I've tried actually a couple of different stains y'all I was in Home Depot buying everything so this is the underside of one of those shelves I was testing all kinds of different stains trying to figure out what would be the best one and in the end I just decided like the staining thing is just not a good idea the whole thing needs to be painted so yeah I'm glad I gave it the time necessary to really ponder and think about how to do it and I think I made the right choice you know we're just gonna go ahead and strip the whole thing paint the whole thing that way everything is the same color so that's what we're gonna do and I'll share that project with you guys like I said in a midweek video all right I'm just gonna wear this hoodie and we're gonna hit the trail there's Sansa girl back there saying hi we're just gonna walk through the neighborhood we're not gonna go to the trail it'll be easier and then Anne will be getting home from school really soon but anyway before we carry on to any more of the vlog I gotta stop y'all right here okay I have an announcement okay so y'all know I've been training um, I just finished the Shamrock Shuffle, which was an 8K, and you know, I've been training for the half marathon that's gonna be coming up in June. It's being put on by Bank of America. They actually have like this whole run series, like it's called Go the Distance or what have you. So people are signing up for all three races for the year. So this the Shamrock Shuffle, the 8K, then it's the 13 one half marathon, and then it's the full marathon, and it's um, in October, and all this stuff is happening in Chicago, which is awesome. So y'all, I am going to be a charity runner for the half marathon happening in Chicago. Y'all know, like, you know, black runners are the minority by a landslide, right? Only 9% of the United States runners are black. I am one of the 9% y'all, and y'all know how passionate I am about running. And so for this particular run, I wanted to be a part of the charity with my sister's run group called Peace Runners 773. Some of you might not be familiar, but my sister's run group provide a lot of resources in the community, namely the west side of Chicago, in order to make fitness uh, attainable for uh, people of color. So the running, the different fitness programs, just creating awareness and making fitness more attainable. My goal is very small, it's only $1,000 but I feel like th with the size of my community as much as you guys support promoting fitness among our community I just know y'all will show up for me so I put the link down below in the description y'all click on that link and hit that donate button and please 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 donate y'all I want to represent I want to hit my goal it's only a thousand dollars even if you only donate ten dollars or five dollars whatever you have girl every little bit counts I just really really want to show up strong I want to represent for the community I want to represent for black women and I want to crush the half and I want to do it with y'all behind me so definitely please please show your support click that link and donate like I said whatever you have every little bit counts this year I want to show up with my braids I want to do red white and blue braids since it's the Bank of America run and uh, I want to crush it you know it's not that many of us out there y'all it's not that many of us out there and I want to represent and I want to inspire and I want to make a big splash for the community and with the community Sansa I wish I could bring you but girl I cannot deal with Sansa plus the baby mm -mm. I need Anthony's help for that I'm gonna go ahead and dish the headband and put on a hat Gotta protect myself from 
the sun coming down on my forehead like that. Sansa is so sad that she's not coming. Sorry, Sansa, you can come next time. I put the pack and play down here, y'all, as like an extra changing table. And it's a good idea, you know? It really is. Yeah. Girl, Ava be trying to mock me. Did y'all just hear her trying to mock me? <laughs> when I hit that high pitch, Ava would be like, that looks like fun. Mommy, sweet baby. You're so sweet. You're so sweet, mommy. Doesn't she look so cute with her little ponytails? Yeah. I love it. I love it, mommy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Girl, Ava is crying. She does not like putting on no coats and leaving the house. She doesn't like going into her car seat. Y'all, she doesn't like leaving the house. Anytime you show her any type of process of about to leave, she's like, you can just put me right back where I was. I don't want to go nowhere. Okay, we ready to go. Mommy got her water right here. Okay, that baby strapped in and ready to go. Yeah, I wanted to go to the trail, but we'll just walk through the neighborhood and that way I don't have to load her into the car and do all that stuff. Plus, we only have so much time before and uh, gets dropped off on the school bus, so let's just walk through the neighborhood. Ava, you like it? You having a great time, mommy? I'm glad the shade is down. Because there's a lot of sun. Ava. Hey, mommy. Yay, back home. We had a great walk. We had a great walk. Yes, we did. Sansa has an attitude, she's mad at us. She's like, oh, hell no. Sansa's like, I know you didn't go on a walk without me. Like I said, girl, we we gotta bring Sansa when we have Anthony with us. It'd be too much on little old me, okay? Too much. Okay, little baby, this little baby looks like she got tired. I'll take off your coat and try to lay down maybe a little afternoon nap. <laughs> yes, indeed. As for me, honey, I've gotten hungry. That walk was really something. Oh, let me let me stop it. So we did um, 1.23 miles in uh, 25 minutes. So we weren't walking slow, girl. We burned 110 calories and the heart rate was 88 beats per minute, which, you know, ain't bad for a walk, you know? Get you a little something going on. I love walking. I know how good it is for me, but I need to do it more. Um, even my therapist was like, yeah, you know, it's like a good stress reliever and it puts you in a better headspace and it's natural and it's free so it's like you can't beat it you know but anywho i worked up a small appetite so i'm actually getting ready to order me a salad so i'm gonna see if ava wants to get a little nap cracking and then i'm gonna shop for my salad <laughs> real quick uh before ann gets home and i'm seeing here i got some emails here as well just came through we gotta read those you're gonna read the emails see who's see who's emailing us Read those emails, girl. <laughs> Anne's home from school. I ended up not getting a salad after all. I ended up ordering from Clean Eats. And I got their salad wrap. Oh, let me cut it open. And then some <laughs> sweet potato fries on the side. Oh, yeah. There's the inside of my wrap. Be so good, y'all. I love Clean Eats. All right, I got Miss Rachel watching my kids right now so that I can um, get these bottles cleaned and these dishes, girl. Last night I roasted a duck. And this thing, I wanna say I got this from Ikea. This is an Ikea product, yeah. Sit down, Ian. So I roasted it in this thing and it's always a fiasco with the cleanup when I use that, but it works really well. It lifts your food off the bottom with this rack. So like if you're cooking something with a lot of fat, like a duck or something, it won't be just like soggy and just sitting in the fat. You'll get to keep the fat down at the bottom, um, the drippings or whatever, and then you'll have like a nice crispy texture on the outside. And it was so good, y'all, that duck, we ate the whole thing. But now I gotta clean up all the mess and stuff. I didn't get to clean last night, so I'm dealing with an overflow here. But y'all, I went to Walmart yesterday also, and I bought this nice food storage set, right? And I think it's seven of them all together. It looks like a rainbow, but that's because each of the lids are tucked in there. So like you got this big blue lid, you got this one, you know, all these different sizes. And then the same thing with the actual containers. So, oh my God, right? Like this is so nice. So I gotta get all this cleaned up and then the bottles 
And go sit down, sweet girl. Sit down, please. I'm thinking Ava's gonna be falling asleep soon for her afternoon nap. But lately it's like up in the air. She may or may not even go for a nap. She might just go right for her last feeding and then wanna go right to sleep for the night. It's only like two hours from that time. So I'm just paying attention and just seeing what happens. Oh yeah, you guys, another thing I wanna do in here, I wanna switch out this garbage can to be the one that's connected to the door. So all I have to do is pull the door out instead of this setup where you have to have like both hands free or it's like two motions where you open the door and then you pull the trash out. So I like it to just be all with one motion. That's another reason I'm glad we're gonna be painting this over because then I'll be able to remove the handle from right here, repair the holes and then relocate it to like over here somewhere in the center. Another thing I wanna do to improve my kitchen you guys have seen this before if you followed me for any amount of time. I have this pull out um, cookware rack, top and bottom. Okay, I got my lids at the top. My dad put this in for me when we first moved in and it's been working out so good, I freaking love it. Like, I don't know what I would do with all my pots and pans if I didn't have that option. So I wanna get something similar to that for over here for all of like my cold cups and sports mugs and all that kind of stuff. Cause right now this under area is not terrible, but it's not functioning at full uh, potential, so I kinda wanna get something for that as well. Girl, when I get done with this kitchen, it's going to be everything I need it to be. <laughs> Girl, Ava is over there thoroughly entertained, honey. But y'all, I think the main takeaway of these little kitchen projects that I'm doing is really just to show you guys that small things can make a big impact and it doesn't always have to be expensive and we feel like it's gonna be like these really difficult projects. A lot of stuff is simple when you break down, when you break it down into steps. And I'm just so fortunate to have someone like my dad who can just like walk me through stuff. I can present ideas to him and then he tells me how to think it through. Basically he creates plans for me, like if I'm interested in changing something. So I'm really grateful to have my dad, but even if I didn't have him, you know, the internet is a great resource. I found so many things that I come across and I'll like show my dad and he'll be like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Hey Ava! Girl, today's one of those days where I just can't wait for Anthony to get home. Yeah. Good morning. Looking real crusty on my way to the gym. It is 6.49, I'm supposed to have been left out. Getting my pre-workout mixed and swallowed. I can hear Ava waking up. I wonder if Anthony can hear his child waking up. Cause I'm gone. Good morning. Uh, for me, I just want to make sure that it works. I updated it. Okay. Okay. We all good? All good yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Girl, not me at the car wash. Okay. I freaking hate the car wash. Oh my gosh. They were having issues with my unlimited sticker. So I guess they got that fixed. Now here comes the part where I need to go into neutral and they're going to scream at me. Y'all, the way I hate the car wash. <laughs> On a scale from one through 10, it's about a nine. I hate the car wash. It's so stressful. It can't just be me. It'd be so stressful. I'm always thinking that I'm gonna do something wrong and, and like damage my car. And then, you know, a couple times I have damaged my car, right? I remember one time Anthony got a car wash for me, right? So it wasn't even me driving. And he came back without a windshield wiper. You know? Uh-oh. So yeah, anyway, I had a good workout, y'all. All the sound is gonna be all in the background. Anyway, I had a really good workout. I was gonna bring you guys along for it, but it just got started so quick and I was kind of running behind and I was trying to like pay attention to the instructions for the workout that I didn't even get a chance to grab my phone, but it was pretty good. Now I'm just headed back home. I'm just like, let me get a car wash real quick before I go home because my car was so dusty. And then Anne had like her fingerprints all on the side from when she was getting in and out of the car. So I just wanted to get that wiped off. So today, my only goal is to get some more work done with that with that bookshelf piece with the island project. I wanna get some more work done with that. And then 
uh, I'm kind of just laying low today, y'all, because I'm kind of preparing myself emotionally for um, a funeral service that I have to attend uh, in a couple of days. My auntie's husband, right, my uncle, passed away, and it's going to be a really emotional one, I already know, because y'all know my favorite cousin, Brandon, so that's his dad. So, you know, it's, this is my dad's side and everything, so I know it's going to be an emotional one, because it was kind of unexpected. And it was a natural cause thing, but it was still very much so un, uh, unexpected. And by that being my cousin's father, I've known him my entire life, right? This has been an adult in my life, my entire life. And then when someone just sort of passes away abruptly like that, it kind of just throws things off. And I hadn't seen him in a while before his death. So that makes it even more kind of, you know. Hey, hey. <laughs> Me and Ava are hanging around the kitchen. We're about to get a bottle crack in. I didn't even tell y'all, Anne went on a field trip today. They went to the petting farm. And I'm so excited. I'm just waiting on the pictures and videos to be sent through, but I'm um, really excited about that for her. Anne loves animals. I don't know if y'all know that. She's obsessed. It's the way she prefers to learn. It really shows us a side of her that only comes out when she's around animals, okay? She loves animals, farm animals, zoo animals. Whatever. Yeah, so Anthony's at the gym. He should be back soon. Y'all, I'm in here fooling around with this uh, island project, okay? And um, I took a little break to produce some content on my phone and to check on Ava. She was taking a little nap. Now I'm about to get her fed and then I need to get myself fed. Y'all, I am starving. Y'all, last night I got in the bed at nine o'clock. I was so happy about that. Got some good rest, really good rest. And I had washed my little new food storage containers last night. I had them in the dishwasher, but they didn't get fully dry because they were kind of like, you know, tight together. So I just laid them out so they can dry, but they survived the dishwasher and they feel super durable, y'all. So I don't know, this might've been like the best purchase this year so far far honey I'm really excited about them and I'm actually about to slide to Home Depot really soon to get some more supplies for my little project look at my hair y'all I'm gonna put it all back in a ponytail and I'm just gonna wear a hat who am I kidding okay I do not want my hair out I'm gonna go ahead and you know make a final selection on the paint that I want to use for this island and then I just need to get like some painting tools and things like that it's gonna be a lot of sanding it's gonna be a lot of cleanup it's gonna be a lot of prep you know I gotta tape stuff off I gotta you know protect the floor I gotta protect the kitchen and stuff the kitchen is gonna be shut down for a period so all of that has to be taken into consideration and I'm just waiting for the perfect time to kick that off but I think like right now, you know, springtime-ish is probably the best time because we don't expect any company or anything. I know, I'm taking all day over here running my mouth. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Breakfast about to be real simple. We gonna do a bacon and egg white sandwich with our Ezekiel bread and some cheese. Not using the air fryer today. <laughs> ah, ooh, hair looking real bad. So for this weekend, I'm thinking I'll just do like a twist out with this blow dried mess here. I'll just do a twist out. Hopefully the humidity won't take me out. <laughs> okay, while my food is cooking, let me chat with y'all for a second. First of all, let me fix my hair because I feel like y'all are not gonna be able to concentrate with this damn half up, half down mess here. Let me get the ponytail going that I promised. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can chat a little better. So while my food is cooking, I wanted to talk to y'all about something that I've been meaning to talk to y'all about for a long time. I've just kind of been putting it off because I'm like, eh, I don't want to introduce that kind of energy to my channel. You know, maybe I shouldn't bring it up. But I kind of want to, especially with it being like Autism Awareness Month and stuff. So this is concerning um, our baby girl Ava, right? And, you know, no one said anything, right? No one said anything up until this point. I fully expected y'all to be all in the comments asking me about milestones and do I think Ava has autism? And I fully expected that, but no one has done that. And I thank y'all so much for not doing that to me. But remember like earlier on in some of my earlier um, pregnancy videos, I would talk to you guys about the potential of autism kind of reoccurring and what my thoughts were on that and I sounded like I kind of had it all together you know I don't know if y'all remember those videos but I was talking very openly about that I thought I was prepared 
right? Going into this, you know, that pregnancy. I thought I was like prepared emotionally, like around that kind of subject matter. As it turns out, y'all, being an autism parent does something really interesting to your psychology, right? And I've been talking with my therapist about this and I kind of think I have a pretty good idea of what's happening to me. So like, you know how, you know, when your children are coming along, right? And, you know, going through, you know, some of the early developmental phases, you know, some of your worst fears are things like, you know, autism, whatever, things going wrong. Like those are some of the fears you have and that's why they have these milestones to help identify. Hey, but it's okay. We flip the bacon. I picked the wrong time to sit down and start talking. I got all this stuff going on. So yeah, you, you think in that way, right? You're like praying and like, you know, doing all this research and doing all this stuff to have these things sort of not happen to our children. You know, I get it, but when it, happens anyway, it does something to us psychologically. We start to feel, even if we might not openly express it, we do start to feel, I think, that anything can really happen to our children. They just came in. But yeah, you really start to feel like nothing's off limits and like that anything can really happen because the kind of the band-aid has been like already snatched off before. And having those kind of things happen really, really tests our limits as, as parents. Let me get to the point, okay? Uh, while I don't believe, you know, that, you know, Ava has autism, there has been no evidence, no signs for us to, to even think that. I want to admit that I have diagnosed her with just about everything else. Okay, yeah. Like, y'all don't even want to know the variety of conditions I've diagnosed Ava with. Her doctor, my therapist, everybody's like, Vaughn, you gotta stop, right? And so I, I wanted to, you know, I'm in a better place now with it. I'm able to, you know, focus more in the moment and, you know, just like listen to the professionals and stop trying to think I know everything just because I've been there before. But I wanted to share that with you guys because I don't know if maybe someone else out there needs to hear this or someone else out there is kind of going through something similar. I just wanted to kind of revisit this conversation because like I said before I was just so confident that I had the whole autism thing on lock you know emotionally I know what I'm doing you know whatever whatever but I wanted to admit that the actual issues have nothing to do with autism it's everything else under the sun and I never expected to feel this way and it happened check on my bacon my bacon is ready. And it just kind of brings me to my earlier point, you know, just talking about the benefits of therapy. This is really just one of those things because I can really get with my therapist and, you know, talk about these really private matters and I don't have to worry about her, she's a her, um, judging me or making me feel shameful or guilty about my feelings. You know, th that kind of thing really, really helps. And y'all, I have really been through it, like in these last several years, you know, from losing my sister to, you know, the failed relationship with my mother to becoming a special needs mom and just having to navigate so many things in layers, right? Because we don't get to just say, okay, well this, you know, life-changing event happened, let me forget about the other ones. No, 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 it, 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 it layers, okay? You end up dealing with your problems in a compounded capacity, right? Um, so that just makes it all the more difficult to try to navigate alone. So that's just another reason that I do advocate for um, you know, psychotherapy and any other therapy that you might need as a result. But I just wanna say that, you know, I had no idea that, that dealing with autism and, and becoming a special needs mom would just open up the floodgates like this, right? Like I never would have thought, you know, I thought autism would be my big concern, but it's been so little of my concern. My concern has been so many other things. I just really don't have the privilege of feeling special, kind of like how I did when I was becoming a first time mom, right? Like you feel like, you know, stuff happens in the world, but that's like happening over there. That's somebody else's problem that would never happen to us. Well, that privilege of ignorance got taken away from me when my daughter got diagnosed with autism, okay? So I don't feel that way anymore. I truly feel that anything can happen. I'm not special. Anything can affect this family. Anything can affect these kids, like, you know? Which can be a good thing, right? It can really kind of center and ground you in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it can be really disruptive to the psyche. It can also be a thief of joy. Anywho, breakfast was delicious. Went to the gym today, so I'm looking Real dry and crusty. <laughs> when Eduardo pulls up, that's how you know it's spring. Okay, it's spring. He's ready to 
start getting it cracking with the grass. The grass is kind of growing out of control, so it could use a cut. All of my perennials and things are starting to peek out of the ground. My daylilies are fully bloomed, and then I'm trying to see what those cannas are gonna do. I haven't seen any green in the ground where I planted them last year, so I'm hoping those come back with no issues. Um, you guys will hear Anthony down there on the phone talking to his sergeant. He's got Ava. I just got done cleaning her nursery and I filmed a little LTK video with that. But yeah, I'm gonna jump on a call with um, my team. There's been some changes, okay? There's been some organizational changes, shifts and things. So we need to get on here and discuss it. So I think on that note, <laughs> on that note, I'ma get out of here, y'all. Busy weekend ahead, okay, in real time, today's Thursday. You know, I got that funeral tomorrow that I was telling y'all about, and then I got some things I'm doing on Saturday with my friend Aaron, and I gotta go over to my dad's house and pick up some tools and different things. So the weekend is going to be nuts. I do plan on getting a lot more done down in the kitchen with my kitchen island project, so. I guess I'll just cut this vlog off here and then start right back vlogging for the next week. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me um, on your precious Sunday. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye.